rope. Yeah! Gotcha. <laughs> and she's dead. Ding dong, the witch ah, is dead. Ouch. What, what was that? Some kind of spell? So, we uh, killed the witch. Ding dong, the witch it's is broken dead. now. Give me. Ah, uh, ouch. Hmm. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, though. I think I need to find out more about this spell before I can get the book. All right. Fool me thrice. Ah, uh, ouch. Hmm. I think I need. Fool me four times. Ah. Uh, hmm. Okay, fine. I think I. Let's ask the witch about it. Mm. This doesn't seem to work. Oh, it's blocking my telekinesis. Mm, no thanks. Huh. Uh. This doesn't seem. Can I send the stool again? Really? Mm, no thanks. Okay. A stool. A stool. Alright. I just have to go back. The long way around. But there's like an invisible wall here. Let's go downstairs. Hello. No. Oh my. That's the brilliant pulley system I made to trap the witch. Go me. Brilliant. Truly brilliant. Inspiring. Motivational. The witch is already trapped. No need to mess with that anymore. I don't think my... She won't be kidnapping any more kids from in there. Serves her right. Child? Let me out! Let me out! No! You wicked, wicked person! You're never getting out! Never! Oh, but... 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 I'm not wicked! I clearly heard you say you would eat us. You sang about it, actually. Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! <sighs> Talking to this one is going to be tricky. Let's use telekinesis! What spell did you put on the book? <laughs> like I'll tell you, you wretched thing. You'll never have my book. Never! Kick it! <laughs> hmm. I'm going to regret this, I think, but what if we make a deal? Hmm? I'll promise to let you out if you promise to let me have the book back and... Hmm? And promise to stop kidnapping children. Hmm? No. My book. Not talking to you anymore. Go away. But... but you'll starve in there if I don't help you out. La 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 la, not listening. Why do I have to kidnap all these kids anyway? Why do you have to kidnap all these kids anyway? They never did anything to you. They get hungry. Not my fault they come nosing around where they shouldn't be. Well, it is your fault if you trap them and, uh, eat them. Eh. Uh, uh, no comment. Next question. <laughs> Do you remember the spell you used to protect the book? Ah, of course I do. It was... Way... <laughs> so close. Uh, no! Not falling for your cunning little rotten children tricks. Hmm, dang. Thought I had you then. You'll never have my book. She said never. I swear. Kick it in. I've dabbled in the protection spells a little bit. You think I figure it out? I've dabbled in protection spells a little bit. Do you think I could figure it out? Ha! Fat chance! You couldn't hope to know half the spells I know. Never! Like some rotten child knows more about spells than me. Stupid little rip, frizzle, ripple, rubble. <laughs> I like that the voice actress is actually saying razzle, frazzle, rubble, rubble. Huh. <sighs> You're right. No one could ever be as great a witch as you are. Exactly. You... Wait. 
I see your tricks, rotten child. I'm not falling for them. I'm not. Hmm. Maybe not quite the right approach. All right. Let's use the stick of telekinesis. If you don't tell me the spell, then I'll... I'll... Draw all over your walls in crayon. Ha! Huh, if you're anything like Grandpa, that'll make you real mad. Eh? Uh, eh? Like stupid rotten children won't do stupid rotten things anyway. Uh... Hmm... I'm not very good at the making threats thing, I don't think. You're really not. I'm on your side, you know. I get it. I hate children too. Eh? Truly. They are the worst. So annoying, right? Eh? If I had my eh? way, I wouldn't be a child anymore. I can't wait to be an adult. Yes, well, you are a stinking rotten child, so deal with it. I just wish... I wish one day I'll grow up to be a great and intelligent witch like you. Ha! Like me? <laughs> That's impossible. You'll never be as great at being a witch as me. No one will! I guess I didn't really help anything. Hmm. This is useless. I'll never get the spell out of you. <laughs> I told you so. Never ever. Alright. She won't be kidnapping any more Telekinesis. No, I refuse Telekinesis. No, I refuse to hurt anyone else for my own sake. Alright. What about I don't really want to use the port. Hopefully, I can find the people in it. And Dragon. Uh, nah. Uh. I'm kind of stunned. Nope. I'm not using this on anything except me to keep me nice and safe. Oh my. No. Ew. Now it. Ah. Uh, if I try to leave. It's broke. It's broke. Oh, the furnace. Oh my. Ugh. And what? Throw the witch in there? Who do you take me for? <laughs> I'm not resorting to violence. Well, you know. Drag no, me that didn't work. Okay, fine. Uh... A stool. Mm. What do they want me to do? What can I do? She won't be kidnapped. Maybe. Oh my. No. No, they're just outside. <laughs> okay, maybe I need to come back after doing something else. Oh, hi, Ensign. Hey. Oh, oh boy. Yo. Hello. Wanna go outside? Stand outside? Gotta be noisy. Eh? I know you're gonna be noisy, you're just gonna bark at your dogs. Hmm. Yeah, okay, good job. Okay, now you go. Oh, wait, I'll, I'll put you down. Yeah. Okay. Oh! No, I don't need to mess um, with that anymore. I just realized something. Um, do I have that it's been too? so. If I'm going to give him something, no, I don't have it anymore. But there was a scroll, um, from a science fair award for a Hans, for a Hans. I can't remember the last name, but like, um, when when Frida mentioned that she was proud of him or something, so maybe Hans trying to help Win Frida. And it said it was a long time ago, so maybe um, it's possible that maybe it was uh, what do you call this? They were both children at the time, and Winfrieda was daughter of the headmistress, the only person who would play with Hans. And then Hans tried to help her somehow and ended up dying instead. So Winfried is trying to do something to get uh, to help Hans or to get Hans. The safety? 
Because if that's the case, then Hans won't move on uh, even after we get the Amber Orb. Because we'd have to reunite him with Winfrieda. So if that's the case, the people in the portrait are Philip, the wizard who uh, brought about the dragon and is, is using that dragon to fight against Lord of Darkness. That's the headmistress, who's his wife. And their two children. I believe the yellow haired girl would be Winfrieda. And the cut off picture is probably Anna, Anna's mother or uh, something along those lines, I guess. I I'm not really sure. Uh, like grandmother or great grandmother. Mm. Or I guess just mother would work. Because um, the ghosts of uh, the couple, I, I already forgot their name, uh, did mention that Winifreda should have been the same age of the, as them, but she looked much older than she should have been. So it's possible that Winifreda is actually our aunt, uh, but because of the spell she's using, she looks like, more like a grandma or an old lady. But, I don't know. I guess I'll figure it out when we play the game. Uh, let's see here. Looks like Ensign's done barking at the neighbor's dog. For now, anyway. Protection spell. How do we have for that? Hmm. No, oh, good. He's gone. Wait, you don't think... This couldn't be the grove Theodore talked about, could it? If it is, if this is where Philip summoned the oh. dragon, then there must be a clue. What have we here? How neat! It's like the patterns are burnt right into the wood there. This must be the shrine, it must be. But what does it mean? So mystical and mysterious. Okay. I have to play that song on the piano. Um, just, was it C def gab? Right, C def gab. And then... Is it face or... A, C, E, G. Hang on. G clef is... Uh... D there. That'd be C. C C C C C C C C C. And then two steps up. So that would be E and then C again, maybe. Could be wrong. I'm not about to damn. Give me. All right. I don't think it's here. But good to see that the blacksmith went back home. Hans. Hello. Hi again, Anna. Thank. Do you mind? Ta the Volt School of Magic. I remember now. It was the headmaster's name. No, wait. Vault. The and I, I... We were so close, I remember. But I... It was... Okay. No new dialogue for Hans here. <laughs> Just let him turn back into a skeleton. A skeleton man, if you will. <laughs> Ding. I'm right here. Ding. No, really. Stop it. Help me. Ding. <sighs> Why did I even buy that thing? Ding. I'm ignoring <laughs> you, if you didn't already realize. His uh, dialogue's changing. I think there's something to this. 
Stop it! Eep! <laughs> uh, I better not. <laughs> okay, that was worth it. But I don't think the shopkeeper can help me. Um, a nurse? Excuse me. Nope. No, it's still the same. But I. I don't think the church guy can help me. The animals, maybe? Um. Greetings again, Kamana. What is it you interrupt the great Van Vetoriki with now? What would you say if I told you I'd found the perfect audience for you? Roostwig, what would you say if I told you I'd found the perfect audience for you? And that's right by the cabin you like. Roostwig, they'd love to hear you play. The lake? <laughs> Surely you jest. That is miles away. I'll tell you what. Get me my home back for me, and I'll be sure to play for your peasant friends. Okay. All right. I better let you all get back to what you were doing. And um, Gil did see that there were murderous thieves in the labyrinth, so it's probably part of that. Oh, the sorceress. Okay, wait, wait. Before I go there, though, I just want to see the aspect of this family. And uh, the box. The sign says Blackley's blacksmith. Bits, bobs are broken. We hello. Uh, hello? Anna, I'm glad to see you. He's back, Anna. My papa has finally returned safe and sound. <laughs> How about that? That's great news, Ashley. We're already right back on track with work. If there's anything you need. I was wondering, this lantern. I was wondering, this lantern. Is there any way you can make it work again? Ha oh, are you kidding me? Piece of cake. One second. <laughs> done and done. Oh, wow. That really was quick. Thank you so much. Goodbye. I'll let you get back to work, Ashley. Ashley's done all she can with it. It looks as good as new. That'll probably be used for the maze later. Uh, Ro Rodney or Rodney? Evening once again, dear girl. And to what do I owe this pleasure? Just saying hello. Oh, Reynard. <laughs> oh, good, you're safe. Oh, thank goodness you're safe. How did it go? What happened? Yes. That bumbling oaf's eyes couldn't have lit up fast enough when he laid them upon me. He seemed pleased enough with the notion I was running away with my life. Supposedly forever, for all he knows. You've done a good thing, you know. I appreciate it. And so does Ashley, I'm sure. I should probably get going now. Very well, my dear. I'll be seeing you soon enough, I'm sure. Hmm. Strange thing to say. I wonder what makes him so sure of that. Well, if we're talking about uh, Grimm's fairy tales, the fox is usually a trickster character. I should try something else. Shakes things up for the main character, so, so and such. Reynard should be in there. So oh, you guys are right. One second, what do I he just jumped back into the bush. I should. Very. Strange thing. Oh, anyway, let's go. Uh, let's talk to the sorceress and uh, see if she can help us with the spell on the book. Excuse me, madame. No. There. If you would kindly assist us. Uh. The spell book? About the spell book you said you need. An old lady just took it from you. One of the most powerful. Well, okay. never mind. Uh, all right. Don't apologize. Uh, oh, do you know anything about protection spells? Do you know anything about protection spells? What? Well, uh, yes, of course. But what are you asking about that for? It, it's just, well. I found your spell book, but it's protected, you see. Oh, 
Oh, you mean that spell. Yes, yes, of course. But it's complicated. All right, fetch quest. Uh, Let's go. Of course it is. This is a chant-based spell. A chant to set it and a chant to break it. Okay. One chant cannot be broken without knowing the one that came before it, see? Oh, I do see. Okay, so I have to, I really I don't have to talk to the I best get looking for again. these objects then. Um, yes. Okay. I'll see you soon then with the objects. Okay then. I mean, how would I find out the chant from her though? Can we short it down somewhere in her in her house? Or uh, maybe the bird cage actually has like a parchment in it or something. I don't know, I'm just literally guessing. Uh, oh, and before I forget. I'm not going. Probably wrong about this, but uh. Could the pattern on the s- I don't even know if I'm pressing the right keys here. There's so many. Oh, maybe we can ask the pastor. And off Ensign goes. Later, Ensign. Um... Tell me your chant. Do you remember the spell you used to protect the book? Ah, of course I do. It was... Wait... Huh? No, mm, dang. you'll never have my book. Never. Kick it. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. The trap is fine as it is. Okay. Um. I'm on your side, you know. Eh? True. If I have yes, well, I just went. Ha! You'll never be as great at being a witch as me. No one will. Great as being a witch as you. Ah, uh, okay. Huh? <sighs> You're right. No one could ever be as great a witch as you are. Exactly. See, you're finally getting it. For a dirty, rotten, good-for-nothing child, you're not completely stupid. If you keep at it, you could at least be a slightly not if completely terrible witch. Maybe. Uh, I've dabbled in protection spell. Do you think I figured it out? I've dabbled in protection spells a little bit. Do you think I could figure it out? <laughs> figure it out? You're starting to see how great I am. What do you think? No, it's true. I admit, you're just way too good a witch. There's no way I could hope to know such brilliant spells as yours. Right! Exactly right! I remember everything in my clever, clever brain. And no one knows except me. <laughs> oh, that's helpful. Then, uh, do you remember the spell you used to the book? Do you remember the spell you used to protect the book? I bet it was something way too clever for me. Oh, of course it was. Spellbook, spellbook. Dost thou see, the best recipes for children are bound within thee. There's not a cookbook or... Hold on. Huh. <laughs> ah, wait! No, no, no! <laughs> ah, curses, curses, curses! Well, whatever! You didn't hear it all, so it's useless. So, ha! I'm never talking to you again, and you'll never hear the rest. So, joke's on you! Stupid rotten children. Think you're all so clever and stupid little. I'll eat you all. Show you. This could be enough. I'll see if the sorceress knows the spell from just this bit. Okay. Got it. No, I've gotten all I need from her. If Grandpa were here, well, he'd say, You stay in there and think about what you've done, young lady. Okay. She won't be kidding. And I guess we're going back. Ah, this is the um, kind of the downside of point and click puzzles whenever you get stuck. If I ever do end up posting this, I'm just gonna like cut out a good chunk of that running back and forth.
Hello. <laughs> So, uh, I think I might know at least some of the chant if that helps. I think I might know at least some of the chant if that helps. Spellbook, spellbook, dost thou see? The best recipes for children are bound within thee. There's not a cookbook or... And that was it. That's all I could get from her. Oh. Ha! Huh. Oh my, so simple. Though I should have expected as much from a mere mill witch. Dang, it's an bird. owner's enchantment, meaning it has been given the mind to look after the mill witch. You just need a chant to remind it of why it should be helping you instead. Oh, really? I have to make the book feel bad <laughs> for me? Uh, sure, something like that. The chant to break it is as follows, so listen close, child. Spellbook, spellbook, dost thou see? My cursed grandpa is waiting for thee. There's not a more powerful spellbook in sight. Teach us the cure from your pages so white. That's it. Speak those words and the book is yours. Oh, okay. Got it. I think... Guilt tripping. Yeah! I best get look... Um... Alright. Let's go. Let's jet. Let's skedaddle. To Adelaide, to Adelaide. Oh. I'm coming to the Adelaide Parade. To Adelaide, to Adelaide. We're off to see the witch Adelaide today. Spellbook, spellbook on the shelf. Show me who is the highest elf. There it is. Right. Let's see if this works. Ahem. Spellbook, spellbook, dost thou see? My cursed grandpa is waiting for thee. There's not a more powerful spellbook in sight. Teach us the cure from your pages so white. Please. Aha. Success. Okay. okay. Meanwhile... Sir! Uh... Oh dear... Have ben. you or have you not seen either of these two? Um... Lie. No... No... I have seen no such... Um... Deviants? Deviants indeed, sir! Of the highest order! Well, second highest. Who... <clears throat> uh... Might a gentleman... Who's not at all involved... Uh, inquire as to what they have done. I cannot say, good citizen, but the order comes direct from the queen herself. Well, queen to be. <laughs> Bob, what have I told you about this? Once again, we're in the middle of an interrogation, and yet it's all about Bob, isn't it? Well, yes, you're right. It's not always about Bob. I'm sorry, sir. Ah, it's quite all right, Bob. It's been a hard run today. Let's well, say we put our tensions aside and sample some of this fine establishment's offerings. What well, say you, good citizen? You will join uh, us, won't you? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, but, sirs, I I'm not allowed to go in there. Nonsense! A man with a fine mustache is yours? Oh, no. Ha! <laughs> what pish posh! Come along now, it's in order. Eh. Uh... And so not only did I put an end to her catching kids now, but I also got the book. Yes, wouldn't want any more kids captured, would we? Pardon? No, nothing. It's a great good you've done, sure. That is but one item, child. Don't get too excited. There's still a ways to go. I best get looking for these objects, then. Um, yes. Okay. I'll see you soon, then. With the objects. Okay then. Alright. Let's check on Dan. I'm kind of worried. Oh, look. Is that darker or the sun is up brighter? Because I. No, I, I think the sun's brighter. It is fully morning. <laughs> 
Oh, hi, Ben. I didn't know. Oh. And then the cowering thief turned and said, Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Uh, uh, no. No, he said neither of those things. Whose story is this, anyhow? Hold on. Hold oh, on. Oh, he's drunk. He can't recognize us. You two know each other? Hi, Anne. Uh, an innocent friend of mine, who isn't Anna the Wanted Girl. <laughs> ah, y yes. Hello, mister. Who is a normal friend of mine and not a bear. You know, there is a young girl wanted in the area that looks just like you. Her sister. Oh, like m me? B but I'm just a completely innocent girl. <laughs> An innocent, not guilty girl, you say? Checks out. Say, you haven't seen a girl that actually is guilty then, have you? We can't find the lass anywhere. About the same age, has a bear fellow for a friend. Quite hard to miss, I'd imagine. Oh. Nope. Nope. Yes, yes, <laughs> I'd imagine so too. No, definitely no bear friends. <laughs> a friend for a bear. How strange. Strange indeed. But dangerous, so don't approach them if you do see them, you hear? Now where was I? Ah, darn it, I don't remember. Hmm. Uh, th that's probably fine. He doesn't seem to be... Hey, Marky. Our... Ah. I always thought royal guards would be dashing, heroic, or even just a little... In times of dangerous children and roaming bear folk, I must say, it is good to still find gentlemen like yourself. A toast to you, good sir. Just a little less clueless. <laughs> well, there you go. The disguise seems to be going well. The poor good guy job, doesn't Reynard. look any less stressed being here, though. So far, they don't suspect me, but I don't want to try my luck any further. No, I'm... No! Are you okay, B... Uh yes, be um be yarn? Bjorn. Bjorn is what my name is, isn't it? Uh Abba. Er Abber Abby? Yes, yes, Abby. I am well, Abby. Good grief. You travelers have peculiar conversations. Do you always quibble over your own names? <laughs> oh yes. Nothing like a good name quibbling. Here, here, to quibbling. I can't turn down a toast. To quibbling. But <laughs> yes, yes, I'm fine, thanks. Just hurry. We should get going as soon as possible, I think. Couldn't agree more. I'm figuring this out as quick as I can, I promise. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have two items left still. I still haven't figured out that, uh, that organ puzzle. But I think I figured out everything else. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll go a little bit longer. Go to the thieves' house. Ooh, creepy. Very creepy. E most excellent. Uh, let's see what they're cooking up here. Hmm. Hang on, I'm just checking something here in my settings. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh... A trash can, an axe, and the cabinet itself, which should be for animal, um, animal musician friends. Ah, uh, no. No, get the useful items. The trash is so full of useful items and point and click games. Ugh, no thanks. Fine. For chopping firewood. Chop, chop, chop. I love doing chop that back home. Uh -huh. This kind of looks menacing here, though. No. That looks much too sharp and dangerous for me to carry about. But think of all of the practical applications of having an axe in a point and click game. What a creepy old thing. Out here in the dark? Yikes. 
And why is it that all your items get used up as soon as you, use, you, you give it one use? Oh, hang on. They're all long and thread-like. Quite strong, too. Oh, uh... Thread-like. Ooh, ooh, it's shiny. What's that achievement? Oh, I think it's just for... Look at descriptions, I guess. Anyway, uh, combine... Oh, yes! This would make for great sewing thread. And then... I think I can sew the sheet back together. All fixed. Those days of practicing my sewing really paid off. Good job, Anna. Uh, All at. fixed. I'm sure, it's good for something. What a creepy old thing. Out here in the dark? Yikes. Hey, don't knock the dark. It's mood making. All right. Thieves or not, it's time someone talked to this bunch. Hello, good sirs. Uh, Get out. Who's that? Oh, no. It's not the boy ghost, is it? Jeez, will you listen to you two? Bunch of no good. See, just a measly little brat. Hey, I'm not a brat. Hey, you can't talk think. to measles like these is. What do you want, huh? What you doing out here? Okay, now... My grandpa always told me that stealing is... Wait, wait, wait. Your grandpa? What is this? You even know where you are right now, huh? Do you? Uh, house that you and your friends have, uh, occupied and... I'm stopping you there, yeah? You best turn back. Turn back, little girl. This, this is a murderer's house you're trying to oh. enter here. I'm warning you now. You turn and walk away. And that will be the last of it. Now beat it! Alright. Oh, Fair how enough. Rude. They think they can just bully everyone to get their own way. Scare them away all the time. Well, not if I can help it. I think two can play at that game. Did I tell you, guys, the one about the witch boy you drowned in the lake? Ah, it's only all you ever talk about. Well, I don't like that one. <laughs> or to scare yeah, ghosts. Lee. That's the point, you doofus. They're stealing ghost stories to scare you. It's no serious story, though. It is the truth. It really happened. There was that old witch school right near here somewhere. And that lake all filled with those... those things. You went in alive and happy boy, but then... then he come out a white and glowing ghost. His bright ghostly eyes roaming this here tree, weaving through, looking for revenge he is. <laughs> That's not true. It's not true, is it? Ah, the boy drowned all right. But there ain't no glowing white-eyed ghost here. Now shut your yaps before I shut him for you, you hear? Just, just saying. When we least expect, like, maybe he'll... Oh! Shut it now, the two of you. Right, right boss. boss. All right. Guess that's all what that a creepy! Those guys are just, just a bunch of bullies. They think they can just bully. Well. All right. I just made the sheets. So I think I'm good. That won't work. Uh, hang on. Did I tell you guys the one about the witch boy you drowned in the lake? Ah, it's only all you ever talk yeah, about. I don't like that one. <laughs> Scary. That's the point, nope. you stupid. The silly ghost stories to scare you. It's been no serious story, though. This is the truth. It really happened. There was that old witch school, right? Ashley's done all she can. Can I combine the lantern with the that lake? Oh. With those, those <laughs> that would things. make a nice ghost looking thing. Only the sheet is missing something. Really? I'm not sure lantern oil is if I'm going uh, so maybe I should boy, try something else. Then, no. Oh, scissors, right. Oh, and make a kind of fake ghost costume thing. I the themes so. were talking about ghost stories. That might not be a bad idea. Hmm, there were some more details the thieves mentioned. 
I should go listen again. Yeah, he said um, white coming out of his eyes. Glowing eyes. Right, ghostly eyes. Roman is your tree. We've been through looking for a I don't think here. my power will help me here. Maybe I should try something else than telekinesis. Ah, yes. A ghost with glowing eyes. Like in the thieves' story. That's pretty convincing, really. It would sure scare me if I saw it floating around the woods. Alright. I think this will be the last thing we're going to do before we end the stream here. Uh, the boy all right. And uh, switch to no Genshin Impact I go here. in a more soundproof room. Now before I shed him for you, you hear? Just, just saying. Alright, here we go. Like, Goodbye. You oh, got it. Now, the two of you. Uh, I think I need right. to oh, always oh, warn. I think I'll... Nope. Uh, just hang it up against the wall. Time to finally give these guys a taste of their own medicine. Did you hear that? Ah, uh, hear what? Ooh! You said? Oh, I, I did. You, you don't think. First, you lot of shaking and salmon over a little kid, and now some wind? Useless. Really, the both of you. There's nothing here but... 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 Ah! Uh. What is it? Is it? It's that. It's just a day. It's a day. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can ring my bell. Ring my bell.